to point out we have this configuration of sun rays that is ever so awesome and interesting usually there is a set of rainbow as well as a set of blue rays you can also see the little blue object right underneath the Sun as well as its Taurus field that looks like it's kind of drawn in at this point I believe that when we see the sun dog, that Taurus field is expanded, and that's what we're seeing. We also are seeing additional celestial bodies behind these two. I think that we are seeing the purifier, which might be Jupiter. When the sun dog is present and everybody's aligned, thoughts. It honestly looks like they have a party going on up there. So I'm getting excited knowing that it's coming a little bit closer each day. I keep capturing different things up there. I mean, I'm capturing actual beings and their ships. There's just no way around it. And I'm not the only one. Several people are. Most famously right now is Gina Maria Colvin Hill. She has a YouTube channel now and a Facebook page. Definitely go and see. And the poor woman has taken so much abuse from people like John X Army who are paid to go on and make fools of people that were sent here to enlighten everybody to enlighten those that would listen. And there's people out there that are paid to actually dissuade us. I have a hard time understanding how so many of us can understand what's going on, and yet we still are not demanding answers. I've made phone calls. I've asked questions. I've demanded answers about my own doctor's files, my own life. I've called the CDC, I've called the USGS, I've called the Smithsonian. I don't know what to do anymore, I'm just one person. And honestly, I have a really hard time getting people to listen to me still.
the biggest dissuader that is used is to call somebody who is looking for the truth or trying to profess the truth to call them crazy. I'm sure many can relate, but it doesn't work anymore. It just flat out doesn't work anymore. It's a bad tactic. It was a bad tactic to begin with. And now, it's completely useless. That does not mean that people are speaking up or that they want to jump on the bandwagon, even if they feel that it's right. Even if they have an inner knowing. We are so indoctrinated by everything. I mean, they planned for this time. The handful of people or so that had this information this entire time planned everything psychologically and otherwise for this time in expectation of this time. I'm no expert on trolling psychology, and I don't know if anybody is. We've watched their tactics change over the past three months, I would say, more than ever. It's been a wild ride. It's been quite interesting. I look forward to the day when we can put it all behind us. This should come as no surprise to those who have been watching closely for a while. Those of us with the ears to hear and the eyes to see. At this point, we feel like we've been waiting for a while to kind of get some confirmation and some deeper understanding of what's going on outside of what we can see and what we understand outside of what we are being told. I have to be honest, I'm quite surprised that there hasn't been more of an uprise, more of a demand for answers. We have allowed ourselves to be censored and to be corralled like cattle. Isn't that what they call us, cattle? They realize that we have power in numbers, but many of us are just being good little sheep, I guess. Come on, it's time for an uprise. In my last video, I mentioned that the last time I saw the moon was about a week ago, when it was quite full and quite spectacular. Honestly, it's not the moon that I'm used to seeing. Anyhow, this is what showed up last night. gotten messages about the sun and the moon being fixed in waters. They are balls of plasma. And what was that I saw yesterday? Neutrons have the electromagnetism that creates light. We're starting to see how this is all connected. And doesn't that look like an eclipse to you? It's a really good thing that the people that will be calling for the uprise are peaceful for the most part. 
and moral, law-abiding people anyway. I mean, here we are, just at the mercy of what? At the mercy of what? Something much bigger is coming. That is why they've just silenced themselves. That's why at no cost will they let out their secrets. They think keeping us in in fear and in dark till the very end is just going to do the job. They know that love has already won and that this is hopeless and futile. And I believe that they also know that if they lie and deceive, it's going to come back on them. I've been telling people that I come across that I see spreading fear that I think if they have an out, which everybody has an out, everybody has an out. Everybody has an out. That they should probably take it. They should go ahead and take it. I, for one, am not going to be left picking up pieces. I'm just not. Maybe everybody else's pieces. I will be here to help pick those pieces up, but I'm just telling you. Nothing has to be shattered. I do believe there's going to be a large event. It's hard to say exactly how that's going to happen, but I'm starting to understand more clearly. This halo that we see is literally an alignment of gods, planets, whatever you want to call them at this point in your journey, celestial bodies. There's a lot of energy and there's vortexes involved. That's why we're seeing all the changes, all of the colors are the toroidal fields of the stars, the planets, the atmospheres. Earth only has two atmospheres. So when we're seeing layers and layers, you can guarantee that there are additional celestial bodies passing through, you know, and I don't think that they're necessarily on a time scale or a cycle like we've tried to pinpoint before. I think that's become very obvious, especially with things like this, just showing up when they want. Now, this is when it's most heavily chemtrailed. You can see the shadows here. That leads me to believe that they're laying on top of a third atmosphere or unconjoining atmosphere. It seems like it could be Jupiter, a very large planet. Is Jupiter the purifier? I'm starting to believe that that is the case. I still have questions about the iron oxide, and where that's coming from and appearing, and how that ties in with iron mixed with clay. Um, it's just some different things that I'm coming across. So if ever you guys have any revelations that you want to share, please do down below. I will really hope to be able to see those and to respond um, and to learn because I'm here to learn. I'm looking for truth. I'm still on a search for truth. And, you know, at this point, I know uh, where I stand and what I believe. And I'm just waiting for things to be revealed divinely as, you know, I know they will be and as they are, as they continue to be every day that I wake up becoming more and more clear and I will stay in faith and if fear comes up I continue to shed it by either getting out there and trying to help somebody else or by literally just pacing around outside with bare feet 
asking myself what my body I needs. I have no idea what's going on here. And really trying to take but care of myself. this thing morphs and, um, into a honor bird. Straight myself. up. Myself. And of course, honor words of the ascended masters. Oh my god, it's a Jesus fly. Christ. It's a flying ant. I'm serious. <laughs> somebody, I wish somebody was sitting here with me looking at this. Oh my god. I can see where I am growing still and where I will continue to grow. It's going to be a process that's forevermore. Ascension is ongoing and it's beautiful and it just continues to be more and more beautiful and I continue to trust fully more and more and I invite you to do the same because miracles start happening once you really surrender. that it could be a win-win situation for everybody if the powers that were would loosen up their grip just a little bit more and allow this transition to be a little bit smoother hey listen I'm not even asking them to take accountability yet but then again I'm not going to be the one judging them at least I don't think I am from what I understand, they really are going to be judging themselves. We are going to be judging ourselves. When we take that into consideration, it really does put things into perspective. But I'm kind of rambling on. I basically think that each individual can hold themselves personally and morally accountable and change everything with their actions and with their thoughts. They can change everything for themselves, for their family. They can change everything for the world one person, each one of us individually. This is how we all make a whole. This is why we're all in it together. It really does matter. I feel like I'm watching people realize that they can back out and they don't have to go down that road. Literally, nobody has to go down that road. I do believe that fear is a part of this process. I try to remember just a few months back when I felt so very alone and I didn't know any of you and I wasn't familiar with anybody on YouTube speaking the truth. And I have to remember how I felt and what a personal journey it has been. And I know that the fear really played a big role Like every aspect of this awakening, 
The fear serves many purposes. In dealing with the fear, I really got to know myself. And I also got to forgive myself and learn to love myself again. So all in all, I know that it's necessary. After all, duality is ending. And from what I'm learning, it's always been a yin and yang. This is where it gets really complex, so I'm sure we'll be able to unravel everything as we go. And like I said before, I really think that we can put this behind us. As we continue to move forward and as these things come up, we can release them for the last time. We don't have to persecute ourselves or anybody else. We can forgive. We can forgive and we can find peace. We can find the peace of God. And honestly, as I sit here and judge others, for causing fear, I realize that I am no different. To some, I might be creating fear, and I actually am creating fear, not on purpose, of course. And I still have anger and frustration and I still feel like things are very unjust. So by no means do I see some sort of balance. I'm not some sort of sage or, you know, I, feel like I would love to be more Christ-like. I do People find myself it very Christ-like storm, in the rebellious ways, but I'm understanding and things in a my little bit of a different way. I'm going to go back and take a look at some fundamental things, if I can still find them see what I come up with. I think we have some really exciting times right around the corner. Expect miracles. Fires are from volcanic activity underground. Peace and love.